Hi everyone, it's Deja Yemir from crocheteverafter.com again and right now I am going to show you how to treble crochet into that sometimes confusing last stitch of your row. This can be a little bit tricky depending on if you're counting your turning chains. So if you're having trouble knowing where exactly to do your last stitch, this tutorial is going to cover just that. If you've never done treble crochet before, then check out my treble crochet for beginners tutorial and that's going to show you everything but this will just do that last stitch so let me show you how to do that all right we have worked across our foundation chain we've turned and we've worked treble crochet into our first stitch in the middle of our row and now we are about to do the very last stitch or stitches depending on your pattern and what it's telling you so, normally we are counting our chain 4, or our turning chain, as our very first stitch. When we do this, we have to work into it when we come to it at the end of our previous row. So, instead of just having one stitch left, because that's kind of what this looks like, I see one V, so it looks like I only have one stitch left, I actually have two, because I need to work into this last treble, and I need to work into this chain four. So it's important to remember that so that you don't lose stitches. If you have a project that's going wavy on you, you're probably missing that turning chain stitch. Now, if your pattern says that these do not count as a stitch, you of course will have put a treble into this very first stitch and you'll have an extra treble at the very end. So you would in reality if this was the very end of our project and the chain four didn't count you would have just that one last stitch to work into but we are we are working as if the chain four counts as a stitch so I'm going to do a treble into this last actual treble that we have here so I yarn over and pull through three times to get that treble and now we're going to work into our chain four and your pattern will usually say um, work into the top of the chain four or work into your turning chain or stitch into your turning chain whatever it may be what it means if it says to the top of your turning chain or top of your chain four it's just telling you to work into that last V of your chain four so you have one two three and four so you want to work into that very top one when I work into turning chains I always try to catch two loops so you can either turn it so it's facing you so you can see the V's and work into the back loop and the bottom bump or you can leave it twisted however it may be and you can get that bottom bump and the front loop but try to catch two loops when you're making this last stitch and I'm going to show you the reason why so I'm going to do the treble and as you can see when I finish that the hole that results from entering my hook is the same size as the rest on my row. If I only insert my hook under one loop, like I like to do for my foundation chain, so if I just pull this one loop and work a treble into it, you're going to see a different outcome. You'll see that it pulls up that loop really tall and you get a much larger hole as opposed to the rest of your row. It doesn't really you know, change the project much, I just think it looks better with a smaller hole that goes in line with the rest of your row. So if you don't want that big gaping hole, just put it through both loops and finish your stitch off. So knowing whether that chain four counts as a stitch is incredibly important and remembering it throughout your project so you know whether you should be working into that stitch and always check your stitch count if you're a beginner so I should have 10 after this row so I want to make sure I still have 10 so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so I'm staying consistent which means I'm going to have a straight project as I go if you see your project starting to wave count your stitches and find where you lost a stitch and go back to that row and put it back in so that is how you treble into the last stitch of your row